we are, uh, man, we've been drenched all week, but it uh, looks like we actually have some sun peeking out here. Hope you're doing well. Hope that uh, you're uh, taking a deep breath out there. So much going on these days. It's uh, kind of hard to uh, stay focused. Uh, so I got some um, fun uh, media and art pieces uh, for you to think about and digest and take on to your day. And just want to say a huge congratulations to anybody who did the virtual climb yesterday. So amazing. Way to go, LLS. Way to go, all of you amazing athletes. Everyone stepping up. Um, anyone who thought maybe they didn't have it in them. Anyone who took those steps to raise funds and to fight cancer. You are amazing. Thank you so much for everyone who did that. Um, wanted to start off uh, today's little stream with a book suggestion. Uh, this is um, really just one of my um, all-time favorite books about what um, running and cycling has um, can do for people, and I, I really connected to it very much. It's uh, The Memory of Running. Um, it is a beautiful book by Ron McClarty, um, and it deals with some pretty intense stuff, uh, certainly not a, a light read. Um, it deals with um, expectations um, of family, um, unfortunately a little um, uh, mental uh, health issues, um, definitely some abuse issues. Um, and you see the main character um, at the, uh, what you would think the end of the story is. Um, he's um, pretty overweight. Um, he doesn't value um, his life and his own contribution to his community. Um, and his sister is lost and unfortunately ends up dying. Um, but he finds um, he needs to um, identify and claim her body. Um, and he finds um, his path to her um, on a bicycle. Um, he has this old idea of himself um, that was battered through his uh, life experiences, but he reconnects with who he is through his body and through this um, trip on his bicycle to find his sister. Um, he works through not only his issues, but his memories. It's really quite a stunning story. I will say um, I'm going to suggest actually reading it. Um, I'll have uh, links uh, to Kindle um, and so you can download it and read it there. I would not suggest the audiobook um, because uh, on Audible anyway, um, it's a very dated <laughs> rendition and not uh, a great listen. Um, but gosh, um, guilty pleasures of this week. A friend gifted me with a <laughs> very interesting um, fantasy novel called Kings of the Wild, uh, which really quite literally was about getting the band back together and about uh, an aged uh, barbarian kind of warrior trying to save one of his um, bandmates' daughter and quite literally a band of heroes. Um, Kings of the Wild with a Y in the wild because, you know, stuff. Um, but yeah, that was a guilty pleasure, very enjoyable audiobook. Uh, a little bit more on the nose to what we, um, of course, are doing with Team and Training, um, trying to... Um, cure cancer and um, support all of our patients who, with a diagnosis. Um, I watched this week um, a really lovely uh, feature, just an hour long, but really, really touched me. Um, Strong, the Destry Abbott story. Um, it's about a dirt uh, cyclist, uh, dirt biker, excuse me. Um, so uh, definitely a little bit out of um, our field, a little motorized sports, but um, his connection with friends and family really brought him through his uh, bout with leukemia. Um, and it's just a really compelling story about seeing um, them all come together, supporting uh, first the athlete, the husband with his leukemia diagnosis, and then soon after his wife with a breast cancer diagnosis. And what just what it did to the family and how they all came together and what their friends did to support them. Really a touching story, and uh, you can find that on Amazon. Prime, of course. Um, another uh, item that I found really enjoyable was um, a podcast called Meditative Story. Um, I just recently found this uh, because um, a musical artist that I really enjoy named Andrew Bird was um, featured on it a little while ago. Uh, the episodes um, go through a first-person narrative in which that person is actually telling the story. And uh, I found it 
to be really compelling. It was really great. Uh, you go through their story with a loose soundtrack behind it, and then uh, there's a guided meditation afterwards. Um, really just beautiful, beautiful storytelling followed with really nice, soothing music, and then uh, a nice meditation with breathing exercises afterwards. And uh, in these trying times where there seems to always be something going on, um, I think it was... Um, extremely helpful for me personally. And I found it, um, again, very engaging. Um, there's a couple of uh, different stories out there. The most recent um, was actually just about understanding that there isn't a single path um, to not only success, but to um, understanding and logic um, that we need to be understanding of other people and other ways of doing things. Uh, I found that very compelling. Um, and then also just uh, inspiration and what uh, a family member did for the artist, Lindsay Sterling. Um, really great um, listen, and you'll be able to find it on your Apple Podcasts and uh, Pocket Casts and all in between. Hope you're doing well out there, team. Again, a huge congratulations to everyone who did the climb for a cure. You're absolutely amazing out there, team. Hope to see you out there. Hope you're getting your miles in. Go team. <laughs>